Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for walkers? Well, is it you need all that hair? She would not mess with you. No, and you need to. Do you nerd? Do you nerd? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have in this box here? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Tom Negan, because I thought I would give The Walking Dead a supply drop box a try. Oh, did you just think of doing that, or was there any particular reason? Well, there was a particular reason, actually. I would like to blame Chris Hardwick for this. Basically, on The Talking Dead, he showed off what would be in the December, as he called it, supply drop box and I really really wanted it so I immediately jumped onto the website and ordered it turns out that's the next box oops these are quarterly and I got third quarters and if my information is correct the thing that was as seen on the walking or talking dead is in the fourth quarter box oh the next one <laughs> so well, we at least get to see what one of these is like and then hopefully chris hardwick will be right and it will be in the next box let's open it up and see what's in here let's first and foremost we have the big card that tells you everything that's in here then i mean if you really like that design you can throw it on the wall you can i do like the fact that well this one actually they didn't really do a picture but some of the boxes will do pictures so first thing that's in here is we have this mystery Heidi thing exclusive mystery so we have the AMC Walking Dead supply drop box exclusive Funko Pop <gasps> what do you think it is monsters I don't know eggs beans no it's Judith Grimes the little ass kicker so we have little Judith Grimes as she is in 11 years old Looks like uh, she's got her hat on. She does. She's got to have the hat right. I hate that hat. <laughs> Little Juice Grimes wearing Big Papa's hat or Carl Papa's hat. <laughs> or I'm sure little RJ is going to get the hat next. Who knows who's going to have this damn hat. It looks like she's got some freckles on her face. Mm -hmm. It's always kind of a cute little extra. She's got the braid thing going yeah, on Yeah, she's in her always hair. wearing that braid and her little tiny miniature Michonne katana. Which is funny because it's like tucked behind her uh -huh. hair. So, I mean, that's a great like little detail. It is a great little detail. It's, I mean, you really have to kind of look close up at her to, to see it, but you can see it through her hair. I mean, she's super cute. I like little Judith. She was kind of irritating as a toddler just because it was, I don't like characters that they mention all the time, but you never see and so when she was a toddler, they were always talking about Judith, but you almost would forget about her because she was just a toddler. So now we've got someone on screen all the time. I know you said you'd shoot, but damn. All right, we have a, like, so we have a little head of Judith Grimes here. It says, look for upcoming Funko Pop figures in all future shipment supplies, extremely limited. So is it just Letting an advertisement know. or think, is it a sticker? I think it's just an advertisement. You guys should make it a sticker. Why not? Okay. We got some some Rick Grimes uh, badge and notebook here. And it's pretty heavy. Feel this. Who? <laughs> so y'all know that neither one of us are really fans of notebooks where they kind of feel like cop outs. But I actually kind of like this one. This one's kind of neat. It's kind of a faux suede leather. It's got a pin holder spot. It is very heavy because it's an honest to goodness metal badge. It says King County Sheriff. And inside you've got just blank pages that says AMC Walking Dead on the bottom. This is actually a fairly decent journal. This is when they've done stationery right. Because yes. it, it looks really neat and it's, it's very you know classy classical looking yeah. with that that faux suede on there so it's you know you don't immediately see it like uh, just kind of a nerdy yeah stationary. it's it's a nice good bit of stationery and you know we do find things to use some of our stationery for but I, I don't know i just feel like they do it too much but i actually do kind of like this one it's kind of neat and it's it's sturdy ma'am 
you have any idea how fast you were going with that last unboxing? Need to see your uh, license and registration for nerdom, please. I don't have it. <laughs> You're coming downtown with me. No, it wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. All right, there's a little tiny scratch-off card in here for claim your prize, The Walking Dead slots. And you have to download an app on your phone and then go to the link that you reveal when you scratch this off oh, and claim your prize. Interesting. So I guess uh, maybe get a little something extra from the game. Maybe, maybe. a little something something. Those are my quarters. Okay, the next thing we have in here is the Walking Dead supply box 300 piece puzzle of Michonne. Oh, that's kind of clever. So she's being all blood drippy, and this actually looks very reminiscent of when we first see Michonne. Yes. When she's, it, I would imagine if this was to, were to continue to have her two bodyguards on either side of her. I really like this idea. I'm not saying every loot box type of thing should, have a puzzle. should <laughs> always have a puzzle. But this is something you don't see very often. This yeah. is is thinking outside yeah. of the box to fill that box. Puzzles are a lot of fun. We love doing puzzles together. Then you know you you can glue them together, and then you have a nice art piece. Puzzles are fun. Homer, no scissors. It's how the pros do it. And then we've got some sticker sets here. <laughs> okay. And they are supply drop mobile sticker collection. Personalize your post-apocalyptic mood with 25 downloadable stickers for your phone featuring your favorite heroes, villains, including Daryl, Alpha, Eugene, Negan, and more. Okay. So this is basically stickers <laughs> to showing off the stickers you can have on your phone. That's, that's kind of fun. Uh, again, that's another clever piece because, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you could send that stuff all day long on your phone, but then to have, you know, like a, a physical, tangible element, that's, that's funny. All right, Mr. Negan, say your thing. <laughs> Sucks, don't it? And then we've got Eugene saying, I fully respect the hair game. <laughs> Gotta love the rake line. I'm doing stuff. Things. I'm doing stuff, Lori. Thanks. <laughs> then you've got the king saying, Trust the king. And we've got Alpha. Wrong answer. Uh, she's annoying. And then Daryl. I ain't nobody's bitch. And then we have official prop replica featured in season 10 episode 1 friendship bracelets so we have two friendship bracelets from that daryl and carol were wearing so you and i can wear daryl and carol <laughs> friendship bracelets <laughs> i forgot all about that nice that's, that's nice. pretty cute i like that that's awesome sounds good to me and then the last thing in the box is another mystery item. Uh, it looks like uh, the Sons of Anarchy got a hold of that box. A little bit, a little bit. Let's open it up and see what's in here. It's a t-shirt. And it looks exactly like the box. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, that is a neat shirt. So it's got the Don't Dead open inside. <laughs> it's got like the Walking Dead logo on it. Just a bunch of different stuff from the show all over. There's pistols and the hat it's kind of hard to see because it's dark on dark but look at the flowers oh yes yes look at the flowers they're skulls pretty good shirt now just a moment uh i need to see if it's in the jurisdiction for you to try that on first <laughs> checks out nice okay that's that's a pretty good looking shirt it's very much a change up from the typical, you know, yeah. mainline print since it's a design all over the shirt. Which does make me feel a little weird. I feel like I'm wearing just a solid black shirt, which I don't typically do. But it is kind of fun. You know, you've got like like we were saying, there's stuff all over the shirt. Yeah. And it's I mean, it's all over the shirt. But that's kind of neat too yeah. because again, we're it's very always different. we're always fans of the more uh, obscure shirts that you know, maybe you have to take a, a double take to see all of the nerdiness. You mean a closer up? <laughs> now, what about the comfort of this shirt? This, this is actually not box. too bad. It is a little um, slimmer than other shirts. It, you know, it's my normal size. 
it doesn't have that bagginess, but it also doesn't have that, like, oh my gosh, I feel uncomfortable because it's too tight. You're not constricted? Tight. Right. It definitely Good. feels just like a nice form-fitting kind of a shirt. Okay. So, um, it does, it makes me feel like, like you said, um, the pattern on it is very, like, Sons of Anarchy or tattoo-esque. Yeah. I feel very, like, I'm, like, I've got, like, a body sleeve on. <laughs> But yeah, I actually, I kind of like it. It's not, you know, it's not an uncomfortable shirt. It's not too soft. It's not rough. It's just, it's like Goldilocks. It's just right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, of course, the last thing, anything fun with the box? There's nothing on the inside of the box, but the inside of the flap. So we've got Michonne, Daryl, and Carol. Okay. Nothing themed out in there, which is fine. That's realizing. It's a pretty good sized box. They is, packed a lot yeah. of stuff in There's here. There's a lot of good, good stuff use. in here, a lot of good sized stuff in here. I think it's a fun box. If you're really, really into Walking Dead, I really think you'd really like all of this stuff. It's very up to date, up to now. It doesn't appear to be a theme, which is sometimes kind of nice. Sometimes I enjoy themes and seeing what they're going to do with it. But since this one doesn't have a theme, I don't feel like it needed to stay with anything. It's true. Other than maybe season 10, <laughs> maybe. Although I would like to note, even though it's very up to date, as you were saying, the fact that they had a few things in there to reference Rick, mm -hmm. that kind of helps, you know, tie that whole Walking Dead fandom together if you liked a different season, perhaps. Yeah. Yep. I definitely like it. I am very much hoping, beyond hope, that what I was wanting is in the next box and we will see what the next box is. And after next box, we will decide if this is something that we want to keep going with or not going with. Because we did say when we canceled Loot Crate that we would try some other mystery boxes True. out there. Yeah, and I also true. don't feel like you can get a good feel for a mystery box with just one. Yeah, sometimes it takes, you know, at least two, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Well, nerdlings, I would love to know if you are still Walking Dead fans. I mean, 10 seasons, holy cow, it's, it's been on for a while. So let us know in the comments down below if you're still a fan, what you think of the show, or especially what you think of anything mm -hmm. in this box, especially if you are checking out the box. Of course, leave a like if you happen to like it. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so you can see what we might decide to open up next. Don't forget to go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, nerdlings. And remember, if we like it, we nerd it. For the dead. <laughs>